This is the Aegon Pro AG276UZD. It's a 27 inch class 4K QD OLED monitor with a 240Hz refresh rate and a super fast 0.03 millisecond response time. At 4K you're getting a lot more pixels than a standard full HD screen, which can mean sharper text, clearer images and more detail in games and video. Now combine that with 240Hz means a screen can refresh up to 240 times per second. If your PC can push high frame rates, as in frames per second, motion can look smoother and more responsive, especially in fast games. And just in case you didn't realise, 240Hz on a monitor equals to 240 frames per second in a computer game. One quick tip we've got for you is to make sure the resolution is set in your display settings as well as HDR is turned on and you've got the refresh rate also set at 240Hz. As a standard when you plug in a monitor it does not automatically always pick up the best settings. So what is QD OLED? Think of OLED as a screen made of millions of tiny lights. Each tiny light can turn on or off by itself. The whole OLED can show really deep blacks because parts of the screen can switch off completely. QD or Quantum Dot OLED still does that, but it adds an extra layer that helps boost colour, so colours can look brighter and more vivid, especially things like reds and greens. Now onto HDR. HDR isn't a screen type, it's a way a picture is shown so you can see more detail in bright and dark areas at the same time. This monitor supports variable refresh rate, including G-Sync compatible and adaptive sync. Around the back, you get a strong set of connections. You get two HDMI 2.1 ports, one DisplayPort 2.1 rated UHBR20, a USB-C with DisplayPort Alt mode, plus up to 65 watt power delivery, a USB hub with two USB-A ports, a built-in KVM switch, 3.5mm headphone output and built-in speakers rated at 2 times 5 watts. The USB Type-C is especially handy if you use a laptop because it can send the picture to the monitor while also charging the laptop at the same time up to 65 watts. Now the KVM is one of those features you don't realise you want until you have it. In basics, you can plug your keyboard and mouse into the monitor, connect two computers like a desktop and a laptop, and then switch between them while using the same keyboard and mouse without changing any cables. The monitor also supports picture and picture and picture by picture, so you can show two sources on screen at the same time. The monitor speakers sound okay, voices and general audio are clear, but there's basically no bass so it can sound a bit tinny. Realistically, if you're buying a monitor at this level, you'll probably want a proper speaker set or headset. This is the Arctic Extender VG. You can change most of the settings on the monitor using the nipple or joystick at the back of the screen, which allow you to change all the key stuff directly on the monitor. If you prefer doing it from the PC, there's an optional G menu software that gives you easy access to a lot of those settings, plus lighting control on supported AOC devices. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you want it. The stand gives you up to 130mm height adjustment. It also tilts, swivels and pivots so you can rotate it into portrait mode. One quick tip for the portrait mode, make sure you raise the screen as high, then tilt it back first before rotating, so the corner doesn't catch your desk. The screen also supports 100 by 100 visa mounting, if you want to use a monitor arm or mount it to a wall. Setup is simple, the stand clicks into the back of the monitor and the base screws on. Plug your cables in and job done. The product box is colourful and stands out with one side listing all the main features clearly so you get a good idea of what you're buying without needing to dig around online. Inside the box you get the monitor, you get the stand and the base, a wall mount adapter, 
HDMI 2.1 cable, which is 1.8 meters long, a DisplayPort 2.1 cable, which is again 1.8 meters long, a USB cable, which is 1.8 meters long, a USB Type C cable, which is 1.5 meters long. You also get a power lead and power adapter and the fittings, a small screwdriver and lots of paperwork. So in conclusion, if you've never used an OLED style screen before, the big difference is usually the blacks and the contrast. Dark scenes can look deeper and colours can look more punchy. Pair that with the 240Hz and the goal here is simple, sharp visuals and fast smooth motion. Go to geekforme.com, the easy way to find trusted local tech repair experts near you. Geekforme.com, fast, local and reliable. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.